into the church and they are the leading selling Bible translations. They're the ones that you'll find in the Christian bookstore and these are the ones that are going to rob you of your joy. They're going to rob you of your witness and they're going to make you a double-minded hypocrite. They're going to make you Christian a Pharisee just like they did me. And this set of Bible translations that is consistent that God is love and that love never fails and that He will draw all mankind unto Himself, these consistently teach universal salvation. You won't find the word hell in them and you won't find the concept of everlasting punishment in them. And I'm talking about books like Weymouth's New Testament. You can still buy that one. Rotherham's Emphasized Bible, the Concordant Literal New Testament, Young's Literal Translation of the Holy Bible. Understand, dear reader, these are Bible translations that have been around for a long time and they do not have the concept of hell in them. They do not have the concept of everlasting punishment in them. What a remarkable difference between these translations that say that most of mankind is going to rot in hell forever and ever. These Bible translations do not state that. New Testament, the New Covenant by, Overber by Overbury. The American Standard Version 1901. This one has the word hell in it, but there are many places in there that, that, that give the person uh, enough of a hint, enough of a clue that there's something that has been terribly mistranslated behind, the, behind uh, our English word everlasting for, and forever. This translation here shows that these translations, there's something wrong with it. But this isn't a perfect no hell Bible. This one here, the Aramaic New Testament, no hell in it. The Sacred Scriptures Concordant Version, this is a beautiful one. I wish I could uh, bring the camera up close to show you. It's got the original Greek in the original unsealed version. Uh, I don't know of any other uh, Greek translation that's like that. It's got the English on one side. It's got the original unsealed Greek and with the English underneath it. No hell Bible. This is the concordant Greek text. It's, it's in the same family as this. No Hell Bible. The Holy Bible in Modern English, Fenton Farrar. 20th Century New Testament. Understand, these Bibles are all Bibles that consistently declare God is love and that His love never fails and that He will draw all mankind to Himself. There is no hell. These Bible translations were translated from the original Greek and the Hebrew and the translators did not find this pagan concept of hell in them. This group of toxic Bibles have injected this horrible pagan concept of hell into them and it is time to rid these Bibles of that pagan concept. It destroys our minds and it destroys our hearts and it turns us into double-minded hypocrites and it makes God a double-minded hypocrite too. Here's another one, New Testament New, uh, by, uh, New, by Nathaniel Scarlett, 1798, No Hell Bible. This is a very old, ancient one, uh, American one um, by Abner Neeland in uh, late early 1800s, I don't have, 1823, no hell Bible. The emphatic Diaglot, the New Testament, Cunnington's translation, the Western New Testament, the numeric English New Testament, New Testament, a translation by Uh, Reverend Edgar Lewis Clemenson. The New Testament of Our Lord and Savior Jesus Anointed by Tomanac. The People's New Covenant. The New Testament by Graeber. Restoration of Sacred Name Bible. 
another concordant. Here's a manuscript that I got from someone who, tr who translated. He's dead. I, I could never find out who it was, but it was a manuscript version. Again, a translation with no hell in it. And down here is another one by Dr. Hansen in 1880, something like that, called um, The New Covenant, No Hell. No hell in any of these Bibles, no concept of everlasting punishment. And you, dear Christian, it's time for you to study. It's time for you to find out what is going on. And you non-Christian who has rejected Jesus Christ because he just didn't make sense to you, the whole concept of God sending most of mankind to a place to be tortured and tormented forever and ever, this kind of concept made, made no sense to you. Guess what? It makes no sense to God either. It makes no sense to Jesus. And today it makes no sense to me anymore because I study these toxic Bibles and they poisoned me. And I study these no hell, no everlasting punishment concept Bibles and they set me free. And my dear viewer, I hope and pray that this little video will get you to study and get you to go up to tentmaker.org, go up to our scholars section, study this out for yourself, and be set free from this rotten, wretched doctrine of eternal torment. Set yourself free and discover a God who is love, who is all-powerful, and who is all-knowing, and He wants to get to know you because He made you and He loves you beyond your wildest dreams. Visit tentmaker.org and discover a God whose love is truly unconditional. Mm -hmm.